In February, the WHO declared the Zika virus a global health emergency, spreading like wildfire around the world. Now, Zika has spread to 68 countries and territories. Outbreaks of Zika-infected mosquitoes are spreading the disease in South America, North America, and Asia. Experts predict Europe is only a matter of time. About four out of every five women that are infected will never know they're infected. One in five may develop some fever, a rash, red eyes, joint pain. The problem what we've discovered in pregnant women is that the virus can actually cross the placenta and infect their baby. So the babies, depending on when the woman gets infected, may end up developing microcephaly, which is a very small head, and the brain development may actually be very abnormal. Advantages of the JJ Zika antibody test. Affordable to everyone, unlike Zika laboratory PCR testing, which can cost as much as $500. Only takes 10 minutes to get results compared to PCR testing, which can take up to three weeks. Easy to operate, similar to insulin testing, requiring less than a drop of blood can be performed in adverse climates including field testing and severe tropical heat. The JAJ Zika antibody test is designed as a screening tool to scan for the presence of the Zika virus in 10 minutes. The test specimen can be serum, plasma, or whole blood. When whole blood is used as the test specimen, less than a single drop of blood can be taken from the fingertip to operate the test. The JAJ Zika antibody test detects separately the presence of Zika IgM antibodies and Zika IgG antibodies, which provides useful information to the doctor about the timing when a patient may have been infected. This is particularly important for a pregnant woman. As soon as symptoms appear, the Zika viral antigen is detectable in the bloodstream up to 14 days. Beginning from the first day symptoms appear, the Zika IgM antibodies become present in the bloodstream. The concentration of IgM rises quickly, peaks, and then declines over time. Starting from approximately the 14th day, the concentration of IgG antibodies also rise quickly and peaks, but remains constant and does not decline. Draw a drop of blood, place it in this small container, add a solution, and in no time you have the results. Here we have examples of two Zika tests. The one on the right is an example of a negative result for Zika antibodies. Only one line appears for a negative. The one on the left is an example for a positive result for Zika IgM antibodies. Any appearance of two or more lines is a positive result. The JAJ Zika antibody test is fast and very simple to use. We are testing you for Zika today, and the digital reader has some questions for you to answer. Are you pregnant? Yes. What is the date of your last menstrual cycle? About five weeks ago. Our lab reports show that you're five weeks into your pregnancy. Is that correct? Yes. Did you have any of the following unexplained symptoms? Skin rash, pink eye, joint pain, fever, or numbness? Well, about four months ago, I had a weird skin rash on my face. The bad news is, the Zika test shows that you've been infected with Zika. The Zika antibody test is positive for IgG, but the good news is negative for IgM. What does that mean? Well, it means that you were likely infected with the Zika virus over two months ago. Since the Zika virus leaves the bloodstream in about 14 days, the good news is you probably conceived after that and your pregnancy should be fine. The risk to your baby should be minimal. Your baby should be healthy, happy, and everything should be fine.